Right, we're back. Look what I got. I had to. The possibilities with this little bit of kit are going to be amazing. Um, the projects that we can incorporate into resin. Um, but I only got this yesterday. So already I've, I've had a couple of attempts. Um, but I'm going to try and jump straight in with a video. So the Cricut Joy. What can it do? What can't it do? It can do loads of stuff. Um, I'm mainly going to be using it for cutting vinyl and then using this within my resin pieces so this is the app that you can download free of charge you've got a um a monthly subscription to get access to a lot of it but i'm just playing around with kind of importing um let's replace the start again kind of importing my own images just to play around with to begin with so you can kind of upload um select from gallery so if we select this one, and this will show you the preview of what it's going to look like. So this is a PNG, so it's already going to kind of, it's not going to have that background. So we just click next and we're going to cut. We'll name that home. And we've just hit 30K subscribers thank you guys right so you can see i've had a test run with it before but i'm going to do it all again so we insert that onto the page now what we need to do is just play around with the size so this can be a bit fiddly so you have to use two fingers to drag it and then we just select it and shrink it down because if we go to make it now it will say incompatible tap the layers so if we tap the layers find out what's going on it's still too big for the machine so we just shrink it down until it's kind of at the right size there's probably a, another way of doing this so you know I've only had this for a day so we're gonna go for 10 see if that works yep Right, so comes with a, a mat. So this vinyl I just got from Amazon, I cut, I cut that vinyl down to size. So we're, we're gonna select um, on mat. You can mirror it, but we're not, we don't need to mirror it. So we just go continue. So this is gonna be the size. Continue. You need to turn your Bluetooth on and then we connect to the joy. You'll see the light blinking on the top. Now with this one, I did a test run with this vinyl yesterday and it only cut when I did the smart vinyl permanent. So that's now telling me to load the material. So if I load that into my machine, the machine will measure the material let's try it again <laughs> and then it will start once we hit go and that will start to cut our vinyl into the design that we've put in. Really is a smart bit of kit. Really quick as well. But I'll probably fast forward this bit. Right, so that has finished. And then we just click unload. You probably noticed that it, um, I hadn't cut my vinyl to the right size. It was kind of crinkling up at the side here. But you can see some of these smaller details haven't really come out. So we might have to skip those parts. And we we'll just use most of the other. It's got a bit of a tear there. But we'll kind of see. So this isn't the proper vinyl that comes with the machine. 
So what we're gonna do is just set that aside and get comfortable. <laughs> so I've got this little tool with the vinyl sheets that I bought. Because you don't really get you don't get the tools with the machine. It comes with a fine point pen and the cutting um cutting head so we just need to peel away now just any bits that kind of want to lift off Yeah, this can take a little bit of time, but like I said, it's it's you know it's going to be worth it. I don't think we're going to be able to use these ones. We'll see what they come out like. Again, big shout out to my channel members. Thank you for the support, and thank you for those to those who have bought Super Thanks or bought me a coffee. Yeah, we're not going to be able to use those bits. They're just kind of they're. I think they're too intricate. If that's the word. Some of you might already have one of these machines or a similar model or a similar machine. Right, so there we have it. We just now need to waste quite a bit of vinyl. Just pick out these bits that didn't really work. And then we've got there's probably easier ways of doing this bear with me <laughs> kind of just want to pick out those bits in the middle of the letters no Come on. So there we have our design. And now what we need to do is we need to transfer this onto a transfer sheet. So this was the vinyl sheet set that I bought from Amazon. And it comes with um, six sheets I think inside with the tweezers and there's a sheet of transfer plastic so what we need to do is cut this to size which we'll do off camera right so we have our transfer sheet cut down we just peel back the paper from the plastic like so and then we're going to place that on top and we're going to keep that on there until it comes to the transfer this came with the the vinyl pack set with the tweezers as well just going to make sure that it's, it's fully stuck 
and like I said we'll keep that on there whilst we work with our resin piece until it's ready to transfer Right, so I've decided I'm going to make a wall plaque um, and the design fits quite nicely into the heart shape. Um, so we're of course using the collaboration resin 1-1. I might actually install some lights in here as well but we'll see how it goes. What I'm going to do first, I've got my resin pretty much streak free now. I'm going to add some of the diamond white mica powder. This will be, it's gone everywhere, look. <laughs> this stuff is so fine, you have to be really careful. It goes everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. It doesn't matter if it goes into the mold because that is gonna be the back. So, I'm gonna thoroughly mix this in and then we're gonna pour and then I think I'm going to add some dried flowers kind of around where the vinyl is going to go. Right, so that is fully mixed in. And pour this out. And like I said, this is going to be the back layer. I've got a bit left in there. I'll pop it into a different mould so it doesn't get wasted. Right, we need to do is just wait a few minutes for the bubbles to rise and then we can pop those and then start with our flowers. Right, again, Amazon. <laughs> Everything I get pretty much is uh, from Amazon. But I'll try and put the links in the description. Um, obviously I'm in the UK so the, um, it might be different wherever you are. So, I've got my vinyl tweezers at hand, so I might as well use those. So the vinyl is going to sit in, in the middle. So I kind of want the flowers to go around the outside. So you might see me keep popping that there and, and kind of seeing where I want to put things. Now it's always good to add the flowers now because they will it will bond to the resin. Bond to the resin, so you know. They won't float when we go in with the final layer. And with dried flowers, you don't want to prod them around. Once they're on, just leave them be. You don't want to start prodding them because that it can actually mark the petals and ruin it. Just taking them out carefully and then just resting them on, and they won't sink. I'm not going with any particular kind of matching. Might have to move that one. I think it'll be okay. I know I said don't touch them once you put them in, but I'm just going to carefully just move that one across a little bit. And they could drift anyway. Um, you never know. And do we go with some green... I don't know whether it will look okay. Let's have a look. So we could. Potentially. I don't want to crowd it too much. So I might just stick with the flowers. Let's go with some more. Why not? Is that the front or the back? That's the front, is it? 
Oh no. Well, it's too late now. Whether that's the front or the back, that's where it's staying. I'm not putting that back out. It's staying there. Um, let's get some different colours in there. So I'm doing this away from the camera because I don't want it falling into my work. help if I actually went into the packaging <laughs> I think we need something else over here don't we going with a mishmash of colors excuse the background noise somebody's cutting their grass not see this but we're gonna put it in anyway get off maybe something else down here what have we got left in here We've got a little tiny little yellow one here if I can get it Whoa. where did I say down here Right, so I'm confident a vinyl should. Probably not going to clear that one. If you do move them, make sure you, you move them in the center so you're not touching the petals. Right, we'll be back when it's cured. See you soon. Right, we're all set. I've kind of manipulated this off already just to make it a little bit easier for the video, but can take a bit of time. Some of it wants to kind of stay on the, on the paper. So you can see the flowers have moved around. They drifted quite a lot. Um, as the resin was sitting, it naturally pulls inwards. So it kind of um, kept drifting, so I had to keep coming back and moving the, the flowers. So now we just need to get this straight. This is like the key part. So if this isn't straight, it's going to be a pain. I've got like a little dot of vinyl there. I'm trying to get it off. Oh, we'll keep it there for now. So we need to just get this central and straight. Is that right? I'm asking, but you can't <laughs> you can't tell me. Right, let's see. I think I'm going to go just over that little yellow plant there, and maybe on this just this little tip, but it shouldn't matter. So once I've got it in place, we <coughs> get our little tool. We're just gonna rub the vinyl so it sticks to the resin. And see, it's just touching that one there, and just a tiny bit there, but it, it doesn't matter. Give that a little bit more. And hopefully that is straight and then we can peel off our transfer paper you can use the transfer paper again as well 
don't have to bin it. And then just peel it. Sadly, it has stuck to that flower, so I need to gently be careful. I'd forgotten about that. Hopefully, it's not going to pull off the petals. Silly me. The dots there just don't want to stay down. That's it. And then I'm going to get the lights out and just see what it looks like. Haven't made my mind up yet. Please don't peel off the petals. Totally forgotten that they weren't submerged in resin. But I think we're safe. We are safe. So you can see, it's got a really nice colour to that. Looks straight to me. Right, let's mix up our next lot of resin. Oh, lights. Let's see what they look like. So that's with the lights on the back. I'm not sure whether that might be a better option. I could have put them in the first layer, but you're at risk of it kind of. I'd had to have done two layers to then have bonded the lights to the first layer and then done this layer to hide them. But I could install them afterwards on the back so that everything's kind of hidden. Or I could. And these can be cut down. I just think this is going to be a bit too much. The wires are going to be visible through the resin, so we're going to keep those out and I might reevaluate at the end just to see what it looks like. Right, let's mix up some more resin. So I've just poured in my final layer of resin, and what you'll find is because the, the flowers are dry, you'll get as it's absorbing the resin, you'll get these bubbles, and you will need to keep just coming back and just manipulating those up. Um, before your resin starts to get too tacky because otherwise you know if, if you come back and it's too tacky you could ruin your work completely so we just gently from a distance blast that with some heat or you can use alcohol spray whatever is your preference right so we'll be back when it's cured see you in a bit right so it's all demolded um obviously this is going to be a gift for mrs cooper I asked her if she preferred it with the lights or without, and she said without, so we're going to skip the lights. So what I'm going to do with my hand drill is just drill two holes in the top. I've been to my local craft shop, got some kind of matching ribbon to hang it from, and then we're going to hide the ribbon just with some glue in the top. So I won't show the whole process, but I'll show it when it's finished. Right, and there you have it. All finished, ready to go on the wall. I'll take a picture and stick it in the community tab. There you go. My first experience of a cricket and resin. Right, again, if you haven't hit that sub button, hit that for me. And I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.